Ercoli Ferrata was an Italian sculptor born on April 1610 in Como, Italy. He lived to be 76 years old and passed away on April 10, 1686. Ferrata was a prominent Baroque sculptor in Rome during the 17th century. He was known for his highly expressive and dramatic sculptures. His style was influenced by Baroque art movement and displayed a dynamic sense of movement and dramatic intensity in his works. During his time, he was an important figure in the development of Baroque sculpture in Italy. Ferrata was known for his work on the monument of Pope Alexander VII in St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. This monument is famous for its intricate and detailed designs and is considered one of the finest works of Baroque sculpture. Ferrata also created a sculpture of St. Helena for the altar of the Holy Cross in the Basilica of Santa Croce in Jerusalem. His works continue to inspire sculptors today for their mastery of technique and emotional expression. Ercoli Ferrata, born near Como, initially apprenticed with the renowned sculptor Alessandro Algardi. When Algardi passed away, Ferrata and another student completed his unfinished work at San Nicola de Tolentino. Ferrata's early work still showed the influence of Algardi and François Duquesnoy, but he later embraced the expressive emotionalism of John Lorenzo Bernini. Two of his most famous sculptures can be found in St. Agnes in Agon in Rome, namely, the Death of St. Agnes, and the marble relief, Stoning of St. Emerenziana. The latter reflects Algardi's restraint, but the upper half was completed by one of Ferrata's pupils, Leonardo Redi. He also collaborated with Bernini on various projects, including the angel with a cross for the Ponte Sant'Angelo and the iconic elephant statue in front of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva. Earlier in his career, Ferrata worked with Cosimo Fanzago and Giuliano Finelli in Naples, and he also sculpted the statue of St. Catherine of Siena for the Chigi Chapel in the Duomo di Siena. One of his notable works in Rome is the statue of Santa Anastasia in Santa Anastasia, which bears resemblance to Bernini's famous dying Beata Lodovica Albertoni. In 1673, Ferrata was appointed as the director of an informal academy established by Cosimo III, Grand Duke of Tuscany, in the Villa Madama in Rome. The purpose of this academy was to provide talented students the opportunity to study from antiquities. Ferrata collaborated with the painter Ciro Ferri, and they were responsible for the restoration of antique sculptures and frescoes for Palazzo Pitti in Florence. In 1677, Ferrata was recalled to Florence to unpack and examine the Grand Duke's newly acquired antique sculptures. While Ferrata was known for executing the visions of other artists, his expertise in antiquities earned him a respected reputation. Not only did Ferrata create his own sculptures, but he also made significant contributions to existing masterpieces. He reconstructed the fawn carrying a kid from a headless torso that was discovered during road construction. Queen Christina purchased the sculpture, which eventually ended up in the collection of Philip V of Spain. Additionally, Ferrata provided the elegant arms for the Venus de Medici, showcasing his talent for augmenting mutilated statues. He also collaborated with Bernini on a fountain for the gardens of the Count of Aracera in Lisbon, although the masterpiece was tragically lost during the Great Lisbon Earthquake of 1755. Ferrata's studio was highly regarded and produced numerous successful sculptors, including Giovanni Battista Fagaini and Melchiore Caffa. His other notable pupils included Leonardo Redi, Francesco Aprile, and Michel Maglia, among others. Camillo Rusconi, one of Ferrata's last pupils, moved to Rome in 1686 to work briefly in his studio. Ercoli Ferrata passed away in Rome in the same year. In conclusion, Ercoli Ferrata was a prominent Italian sculptor of the Baroque period. His highly expressive and dramatic sculptures showcased his mastery of technique and emotional expression. Inspired by the works of sculptors like Alessandro Algardi and John Lorenzo Bernini, Ferrata created intricate and detailed sculptures that left a lasting impact on the art world. From his collaboration with Bernini on iconic projects like the Angel with a Cross and the Elephant Statue in Rome, to his own masterpieces like the Monument of Pope Alexander VII, Ferrata's works continue to captivate audiences with their dynamic sense of movement and dramatic intensity.
Ferrada's contributions to existing masterpieces, such as the reconstruction of the Faun carrying a kid and the augmentation of the Venus de Medici, further showcase his talent and expertise in the field of sculpture. Through his studio, Ferrada influenced and trained numerous successful sculptors, leaving behind a rich legacy in the art world.